He was so much convinced by his Sarpuri path, he took Diksha from him, Harinam and Diksha. Then he was totally changed from Nimai Pandit to a pure devotee. 
and then he stopped his Sanskrit to school totally day and night. Krishna, 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 Krishna. But totally. Sometimes falling on the ground, rolling on the ground. So he has no so much connection with his wife, Krishna Priya Devi. Only she used to cook and he used to go and by practice daily, he used to take something. But he was always mad in Krishna separation. After some time, after Jagai Madhai Uddhar, met him with Nityananda Prabhu, Kaji Uddhar, Mahaprabhu, totally changed. And one day he decided anyhow to give up this world. Dearest wife and mother and everything and to be a renounced order sannyasi. At that very day she went to meet with all his associates in Navadvi. He brought some Loki vegetable from Siddha, some milk from the Gwalas there and some presentation from them. And in the evening he reached his home and gave it to mother to cook luck lucky luck lucky in milk and sugar. She made and it was offered to Narayan. And then Sachi Mata gave it to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he took and what became of the time? He went to Vishnu Priya Devi after a long time in the night. He decorated himself beautifully, gave garland in his name, and better not in his mouth, decorating and giving so much alanka ornaments. But Vishnu Priya Devi was thinking, why he became so changed? It means that life is going to be as tempted. In India, hurricanes sometimes that that so for a long time, so many years, he was not speaking with me. And why he decorating me, giving better luck? and giving Sindhus here and all ornaments, fine. Today in the very morning I went to take bath in Ganges with my mother, Mother Illa Sachi Devi, very near. And I got injury in my stove and Blood become to come finally today, and in the water I lost my nose ring, which had coming with me since the marriage day. So it was very auspicious, but it was lost. Oh, what will we do? What will do? will come. Anything very unauspicious coming. And that is I am now seeing. He is giving so much honor to me. Why? It means he will give up this world, me and mother and everything or what? 
Mahaprabhu wanted that he should sleep and in the midnight I today. Go to Katwa, jumping in Ganges in cold season, windy day. Shivya, cold month there. So, he saw that she is not sleeping, so by his yoga maya. Hey. And she slept. Then he saw towards her, very cruel. And at once left his you home. Know. When he was passing his main gate, mother was standing. She knew anyhow. There were no tears. All tears died up. And she was like an wood standing. Mahaprabhu did parikrama three, four, four times and did pranam. But she could not tell anything why you are going, what you are you doing. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at that time became so cruel. He left in a moment everything and jumped in the Ganges to, to cross river because Ganga was flooded. Too much water, cold water, rainy daylight. And he at once jumped and crossed. Can you do? Then Hari Bhajan, not Hari Bhajan is so cheap. You will have to sacrifice. You will have to take all the love and affection that you have in worldly things for your body, for your wife, for your children, for your everything. Position and money. You have to give up. Like Mahaprabhu, like Raghunath Das Goswami, like Vishnu Priya Devi, he jumped and he crossed the river, very broad river there. And he went to Katwa, about 15 miles from Navadri. And there he went to his guru, his Bharati. Not guru, part guru, sannyas guru. And Diksha guru was, he was pure bhakta. He was bhakta, but he was a dandi sannyasi. And he took sannyas. And after that he, anyhow, was going to Vrindavan, but strictly Nityananda, tricky Krishna Nityananda Prabhu, he took him to Santipur and from Santipur to Jagannathpur. After some time, one year, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to Vrindavan, in the way now he came. Hmm? on the bank of Ken. He was in Santipur and first also in Santipur. All went to meet Mahaprabhu. Even dogs, cats, hmm? thousands, millions of persons went to Santipur to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Raghunath Rath Goswami also came. Yeah. But only one never came. Can you suppose who? Because you will have to give up your dearest thing in this world for Krishna. So all came but Mahaprabhu has left. He can speak on power, but not to Vishnu Priya. Why? What offense he has done? But this is the nature of But if your Bhakti will come, dearest thing will have to be done. 
gopis, they left their father and mother. Then as men, that position and even their shame and everything. So try to be like that. Your all problems we go. You don't think that he is getting pro problem to me. But you are causing to bring all this. You are the root cause. So don't blame others. Blend your mind, yourself. Then your all problems will go. But we don't think like so. We should think. Oh, he has given this problem. I am justified. I am telling truth. But you are wrong. Don't blame. Don't have any Ishad race. And there's more to anyone. And thus chant and remember and be high class of devotees. Here yeah, Vishnu Priya Devi, what doing? Always weeping, 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 weeping. He, ten, he came, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came two or three times in Navadi. But never he went to his house. So he, here and there, sometime distant. But Vishnu Priya could not come. Why? She knew that if I am go, that a problem will come from my husband. So I should not give any problem to him. If he wants to be far away, I will be far away. If he wants to come nearer with me, very good, welcome. Anyhow, like gopis, always used to think about Krishna. What is favorable for Krishna? They will do. If Krishna wants to give up gopis, Radhika, Radhika is thinking, if he wants any other new lady because he wants new, new, new one, then I will be maid servant of that lady and anyhow I will bring. And if Krishna is giving them problems, separation coming to me very So this will be the nature of the high class of How she passed his day? In the morning, woke up in the very morning, he used to take some rice and chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, 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 and offer to Thakur and then give it to Sachi Maya. Sachi Maya used to take something and remnants she used to give up for left for the Vishnu together. In this way he began to live in all day night. Even his shadow cannot touch anyone. What to tell to meet her? There are not any. Only Jeeva Goswami went there and she blessed. Otherwise, not to him. She was very grave and very cool. Just lady. Thus, Mahaprabhu, he made a very good statue. And he used to worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is in our Pudhan Gauriyamat, Bengal, worshipped by 
Vishnu Priya Devi, then Shivash Pandit, and then now worshipped by my Guru Dev and Dashka. So his life is so secret, sacred, very porous. You can teach so many things, we can learn so many things. And then Raghunath Das Goswami, how? Yes, to this something. And please don't go two hours or three hours. <laughs> you can extend up here. Ongagyanathimirandhasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Viditayena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpatarupascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaevacha Patitanan Pavanibho Vaishnavibho Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances the lotus feet of my Guru Pāda Padma from Vishnu Pāda Parivajaka Charja Parijya Stoke Prasimha Bhukti Vajanda Slava Amandas Sai Maharaj and from Vishnu Pāda Parivajaka Charja Parijya or through the sense of Adhukti Vedanta Sandarayana Gustavi Maharaj. After that, I pay my obeisances, the lotus feet of all Guru Parantara, all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis assembled here, I pay my obeisances according to their qualification. Srila Gurudev ordered me to discuss about Srila Yoghunnata Gustavi's biography and his teachings. As you have heard in this class this morning, Sri Rahuna Das Goswami was a son of landlord. From the beginning of his life, when he small boy, from that time, he used to think, give up his life and come to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His father was Hiran Govardhan Majundar and uncle was Hiranna Majundar. Both brothers had only one son. So he was nourish and protected very carefully and very lovely way. So he tried at his level best to run away from his house. So his father and uncle and his mother always arranged some guards to keep her not to go away from the house. He had the association of Siddhaidas Thakur, really. He had association of Namachaj Haridas Thakur. So from Haridas Thakur, he has learned so many philosophy and he has heard from Haridas Thakur about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. And his guru was Sri Jadunandan Acharya, disciple of Adhita Acharya Prabhu. So he had strong desire to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Sri Vada Mahaprabhu came to Santipur, then after his renounce order, that as we have heard from Sri Guru Dev, Sri Triki Nittaranda Prabhu tricked him and bring him to Santipur. Then Raghunatha Goswami asked his father and uncle, Oh my dear father, may I go to Santipur to meet with Sri Jaitanya Mahaprabhu? They give permission very easily and send some guards with him. When he came to Mahaprabhu, he paid his obeisances. Mahaprabhu told, because everybody told his Raghuna, because his father was well known, he used to serve all Vaishnavas. Mahaprabhu told Raghuna, Ghare phire jau Raghu naho batun, krame krame pai lo bhava sindhukur, markat vairag gana kar lok dekhaiya, yatha jantta visai bhan jana sakta hiya. Antar kara nishtha vai ye lok gavahar, Achira te Krishna tamahe kori venudha. O Raghuna, don't be, don't be like a madman. Gradually, 
We say delivering from this world. You have to keep steadiness in your mind and externally you have to use as materialistic person. Then you can take a cross of endless chain bath of faith. So, more than Vaidya Gunaka or Lok Dakhaya, don't show others monkey like renunciation. Monkey they ne never use any cloth, never make any house, but if you've been in India, especially in Vrindavan, if you pass through any road, any alley, if you have something, you don't know where are they. They come and snatch from your hand and run away. So, externally they think they are very nouns, but not at all. So, Sivan Mahaprabhu, through Ramananda Swasami, teaching us, we have not to show our renunciation to others, we have to hide it. Then we can advance in Krishna consciousness. So, Das Goswami came there, and after that, he behaved so nicely with his all relatives. His father, his uncle, all became very happy all. Sivar Mahaprabhu gave him such good instruction. He completely changed. He is taking care of our land, our property, everything. But his steadiness growing day by day. Always thinking, how to run away from here? <laughs> he tried at this level best so many times, but his parents, by God, they bring him back. So, then they thought, oh, if you want to control him, we have to arrange his marriage ceremony. At that time, who was Miss Universe at that time, and when you were there, they arranged marriage with Raghu Nardas Goswami. His mother told to his father, we have to chain him by a circle. Then Govardhan Rajinda told, even the life circle of his wife, so nice, so beautiful, she could not control him. How a lifeless chain can bind him? When somebody hurt, completely colored by Mahaprabhu's color, none can check him in this world. Whomever you sin, Especially in Gaudiya Vaishnav, never their parents donate them. Everyone run away from their house. <laughs> so, then Dasma Sami thought, okay, somehow I have to discover something. So one day, Sivan Nittamanda Prabhu came very close by their village. Dasma Sami took permission from his parents and went there with some girls. And from far away, Dasma Sami paid his obeisances. Nitanthu, oh Chora, oh Chora, why you are so far away? Nitanthu dragged him and being crushed as merciful, put his lotus like feet on his head. Even his lotus feet not coming meditation in Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva and big big yogis. Mercifully, forcefully gave his lotus feet on the head of Raghunath Das. Oh Raghunath, you are thief. Has he stolen anything of Nityananda Prabhu? Why you address him as a thief? Nitya want to say, without costless march of Nityananda Prabhu, none can attain the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Das Goswami used to go Mahaprabhu directly. Nitya no, know, he had to get my mercy at first. So Nitya told him, chod chod. Another meaning Guru has told, Sivan Mahaprabhu's lotus feet is the ascent of Nityananda Prabhu. So without his kind permission, if someone will pay, then he must be thief. So Nitanu address him thief. Another meaning Brother John, due to love and affection, he told you are thief. So you have to, I have to punish him. That's okay. What punishment? I have thousands of followers with me. You have to feed them. You have to give them prasad. That was the meaning very happy. He ordered his his servants go and get chip rice, yogurt, banana, sundays, sugar, etc. They did so. And Nityananda Prabhu offered and when he remembered, in the same moment, Mahaprabhu appeared there. And both brothers, 
শ্রীমান মহাপ্রভু এক নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু এক একটাই মহাপ্রভু জগন্নাথ পুরী মহাপ্রিয় So, now he saw Nittananda Prabhu. Now, what was his obstacle to Ramaya from his house? It, though the only formality has been taken place. After that, Raghunathar Goswami gave some donation to all Vaishnavas. This is the rule of regulation of household, householder devotee. If you, any guru or sadhu will come, you have to give some donation. Das Goswami thought, thought this. So, he did so. And he not did, did anything, gave to Mahamitaru directly. He gave his servant, later on he tell him. Then he came back. One day, after that he never went inside. He used to sleep in Durga Mandav, one outside place of Demi Goddess. According to keep the status of in his society, so his father had Durga Mandav. He used to live there. One day, early in the morning, our Brahma Murta, his Guru Dev, Yudhudandana Chaja came and told, O Raghuna, my Pujari, Rane from his service, he quit his service of possibility. So, can you go and order him to come and take charge again? Said, okay, Guru Dev, no problem. So he came out for his Guru Dev. All guards are watching, oh he is going with Gurudev, no problem, he will come back very soon. After some distance, he told Gurudev, he has not going to come, I can go and send him. Why did the Acharya ask to him? Because he is son of landlord, his puja is bound to obey his order. One thing, another thing, without the mercy of Guru, man can attain Krishna Prem. If Guru and the Bhagavan is there, you have to pay your obeisances to Guru Dev at first. After that, to Krishna. If you go direct to Krishna, Krishna will not accept anything or offerings. Krishna will tell, Patamantu Guru Pujya Tatas Chaiva Mamar Chanam Tadisa Bhagavad Bhakti Yannathan is follow away. You have to pay your obeisance to Guru Dev, you have to worship him first. Taking water for me, then you can serve me, then you can get bhakti, otherwise everything goes in hand. So, Yogananda Nachal is Guru Dev, then he gets mercy of Guru Dev, then no obstacle will come. Though he got mercy from undivided Guru Dattva Nittananda Prabhu, but Yogananda Nachal also, his manifest is Prakas, so his mercy also needed. So, he came out with him, after that he sent his pujari for taking the charge, and he ran away from there. And he not in highway, he took a forest trail. If I go through highway, after few hours, my parents will send some persons with horse and drag me back as before they did. So I should not go in highway. He took one jungle way, one forest way. From there to Jagannath Puri, it will take by foot about 30 days. And he took only 12 days to reach there. Among 12 days, he took only some prasad, three days. Sometimes pop rice, sometimes some meal, like this way. Day and night, walking, walking, he arrived in Jagannath Puri. Mahaprabhu was surrounded by his associates, headed by Sarup and others, Sri Srila Sarup and others. Then Mahaprabhu hand over him in the hand of Sarup Prabhu. And from that day, the familiar by name Sarupe Raghu. Because Mahaprabhu has three Raghunath. One Vaidya Raghunath, another Bhatta Raghunath, and third one Das Raghunath. So he famous by name Sarupe Raghu, Raghu of Sarup Damodar. And he never asked Mahaprabhu anything directly. Always he used to ask to Sarup Damodar Prabhu. 
Finally came his father came to know that he sent some Brahmin and some money. And by that money, he used to invite Mahaprabhu twice a month. Mahaprabhu used to come and take prasad. He continued about two years. After two years, Mahaprabhu asked one day to Govinda, Oh Govinda, why are not, not inviting me? Then Govinda told, Oh Prabhu, he gave up his, his servant, he sent them back and told, Bisoi Ranna Khaile Molin Hai Mon, Molin Mon Hai Jana Hai Krishna Das Maran. So if you take anything from a materialistic person, their idea will come through brain. So you give it up. And your mind is dirty, you could not remember Krishna. So you have to be careful about this matter. So Rupa Sarva has told, Dadati Prati Girnati Vijya Bakhati Pritchati Bhumte Bhajeda Cheva Saravita Prati Lakshanam To give something to someone and accept something from them and open your heart to others and listen from them and feed them and feed them by them. If you do these six loving exchange with devotee, then your devotion will increase. And if you do with materialistic person, then your mind will increase towards materialistic person. You have to be very careful. Then what he is doing now? Then Govinda Guru told, he is taking prasad in Singha Dua in Jagannath Puri. After some time, Mok asked Govinda, Oh Govinda, what Govinda is doing nowadays? Govinda Prabhu told, he has given up Singha Dar. Why? Because Govinda has told, Singha Dar e Desha Vritti, Dikha Vritti, Desha Rachar. If I beg in Singha Dwar, it's like prostitute. Like prostitute, dress herself very nicely, waiting, oh, this man will come and give me something, enjoy me, give something. He passed away, another come, he passed away, another come. Like this way, have to wait in Singha Dwar. Oh, this man is coming, give some prasad. Oh, he ran, he went away, the second will give. So by this way, like prostitution pregnancy, so he give it up. So what is doing? Sardana Prabhu told, Oh Prabhu, I have heard that he is taking some prasad. What prasad? When Jarnath's prasad is cooking on, cooking is going on, when they throw the rice water, some grains with both rice water, and outside, the cows used to take that. When it is so much left over by cows, it became a little rotten. Rogna will go and collect that grain, wash very nicely, and used to eat. Mahatma, okay. And Mahatma one day went there. And that was something, Rogna, the Rogna, the Mahaprabhu, he collect and wash. And Mahaprabhu came and take a bite. Oh, Rogna, you are using so nice prasad you never gave me. How come? He by force took one bite. After that, one to take again, so the other grabbed his hand. Oh, Prabhu, this is not for you, for Raghunath only. His renunciation, like a line on a stone, if you make a stone, a line on a stone, it never be removed. It will be so long, long years. In the same way, Raghunath, Vairagva, Jena, Pasane, Rekha, his renunciation, like lying on a stone. One day, Raghunath asked, to salute the other Prabhu. I want to ask something to Mahapurla, want to give advice something. <coughs> the salute the other Prabhu asked to Mahapurla, Oh Prabhu, Raghunath want to ask. As before Mahapurla told him, when he handed him over, then he can even calm in our mind, how come Mahapurla is telling Bhagavan, he does not know, salute the other Prabhu knows better than him, how is possible? Because Mahaprabhu is beside Tattva. So what is the mood of Asray? Only Asray Vigraha knows. So if you want to serve Bisay Vigraha, you have to go to Asray Vigraha. Means Gurudev and devotee of Bhagavan. Then you can attain Krishna Prem. So Bhagavan will not teach you how to serve him. 
his devotee will teach you. So, Mahaprabhu told, he knows better than me. Tathadi Amar Bhakti Vishwa Jirya, if you so much faith on me, then I am telling you, Bhavana Khaiviyar, Bhavana Padive, Amari Mananda Bhaiya, Krishna Nam Sada Lave, or Brajya Radha Krishna Seva Amtale Karive, if you have faith on me, so I am telling you, don't take so royal, don't dress yourself with royal dresses and don't so take so palatable foodstuff. And you have to serve divine couple by your mind. What you are doing, I can understand. By this way, you can serve. Thus, the son is to do so. Later on, Mahaprabhu handed over one Govardhan Sila and Gunjamala. He was given to somebody by someone to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu served it few years after that he gave to Raghuna. You can give him one pot of water and some tulo, yes, eight tulasi leaves with soft manjari and two leaves to size. By this Bhagavan is very happy. Raghuna Vaisasana is to do so. Later on, for ourselves, he wrote so many things like Stavavali, Manasiksha, so many things he did for us. When Mahaprabhu disappeared from this world, after one year, Brother Pandit disappeared. One after another, Mahaprabhu's all associates disappeared from Jagannath Puri. So he came to Brad to give up his life, jump from the top of Govardhan Hill. When he came, so Rupa Saipat, and Sanatan Vasai Pad protect him like their own son or own younger god brother, younger brother. Sanatana Vasami told, Oh Rahuna, if we give up life, someone can attain Krishna Pen. I can give up my life so many times. I had some idea once during Kal Festival. I shall give up my body under wheel of the car. But Mahaprabhu check me. So don't give up your life. By giving up your life, he you could not attain Krishna pain. So then they make one hut for them. Then the Dasarasan is to do bhajan in the bank of Radhakun. One day Sadhana Vasan is saw, Dasarasan is doing bhajan, one tiger and a tigress came and drinking water both sides of Dasarasan. He does not know at all. He has absorbed so much. So Dasarasan is teaching us. If you want to do bhajan, you have to absorb in your bhajan. Otherwise, Hare Krishna talking here and there, not proper. That's why taught us have to be absorbed completely, absorbed in your bhajan. Then Sanatana Vasai made one heart for him to do bhajan there. After some time, Rupa Vaswami gave one book to him for reading. It was Vidanta Madhva. Reading that he also be, always began to weep and weep because there was separation mood of Braj. So Rukhvasan thought, he may die. And whenever Rukhvasan is to take him away from him, he never give him back. Then Rukhvasan wrote another book, Dan Keli Kaumodi. This is the pastimes of Divine Kapu of Hasaras, mainly Hasaras. Then he gave him, Raghuna, I have to do some correction the previous book. You can read this, let me answer, give you back. When he read that, one day Das Rupa said doing bhajan, he saw in Kusum Sarovar Gopis came to pick up some flower to make garden for Krishna. Then Krishna came as before and pushed one branch down. Radhika was picking flower and when he see after him picking flower, then Krishna took off his feet, then the branch come up like a spring. Radhika told, oh, I am dying, dying, send me, send me, send me. This one get down from the tree immediately and embrace him. So, reading this pastime, that's when you begin to laugh and laugh. Hey, I want to another pastime reading and laughing and laughing. Then Rupa Swami sometimes is very happy. Now he's laughing. So after that, Rupa Swami, Sanatana Rupa Swami, Adar disappeared from this world. Then he wrote one slow. What is the position of his mind? That Sunnayate Mahagostham Girindraja Garayate 
व्याघ्रकुंडाते कुंडम जीवात रहित समय सुन्नाते महाद्वस्तम दिस गोस्त दिस ब्रजमंडल इज लाइक जी साई फॉर नथिंग देयर एंड गिरिंद्र जो गरायते ते ग्रीगाज गोवर्धन को फुलफिल एवरीबॉडीज डिजायर इज लाइक ए बिग पाइप एंड वांट टू फॉलो मी व्याघ्रकुंडा यते कुंडम द बैंक ऑफ राहाकुन आई शुड डू भजन दिस राहाकुन लाइक फेस ऑफ अ टाइग्रेस वांट टू फॉलो मी व्हाई जीवातु रहित समय माय लाइफ एंड सोल रूप का समय है दिस से प्यार फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड तो इट सिचुएशन फॉर द सेपरेशन व्हेन ही रोड फॉर आस टू टीचिंग हिज ओन माइंड मन ऑफ शिक्षा फर्स्ट ही टोल्ड दैट ओके टाइम इज शॉर्ट सो आई एम फिनिशिंग हियर व्हेन आई गेट टाइम माई सेल्फ स्पीक अबाउट मन ऑफ शिक्षा हरे कृष्णा ready to play what drama let us be ready
सुनी सुना चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर आपका नरोत्तम ठाकुर द डिवोटिस फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड ऑल हैज डिसअपियर न शुद्ध भक्ति बस देर विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर फ्रॉम हिज बिग बर्थडे He was Nitya Siddha Bhakta, and when he was ready, at that time he composed three books: Ojwal Nirmani Kiran, Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu Bindu, and Bhagavatam Rukkana. This is a very high class of books, though, and very essence. But all the teaching of Rupa Goswami comes in the in the books. Become very very learned, famous in whole India, Sanskrit with God and God. And he left his house. He was married, but he left his wife and everything. So much position. Left everything. We see that all had left everything, and then Krishna Prem, as I told before, Krishna Prem is very high power. You have to give up your whole energy and whole attention, and give up all your that you want. Practically went to Vrindavan, and he was doing that. He was so bhajan siddha and writing books, and especially he was establishing Ujjwal Lin Mani of Rupa Goswami Upapati Thaw. After this, Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami made so many books, and he get prominence of Swakiya Ba. Swakiya means. All marriage to Krishna, all the gopis. Radha was also married to Krishna. He established. Huh? Upapati bhav is not good for this world. Hmm? That you have had some um, husband and you should give your heart to another. So he quickly stopped. But he. Wanted that those who are qualified only they should follow this way. Otherwise, for general it is not good. We saw that the Bhakti Thakur saw that oh, now all are neglecting the upapati bhav of established by Rupa Swami and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then he began to establish. All began to hear him and to follow him. Again, Pati Bhav came. So some jealous persons they wanted to kill Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Vishwanath Chakravarti, when he used to be in Vrindavan, he used to give a pachana of Vrindavan, Panchakorshi Vrindavan, every day. So in the morning, early morning, as we go to 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 walk. Eh? Some what dark means, Brahma Mahurta. He was doing, and when he reached under the shade of some trees, there it was so much dark, and they were ready to kill him. When he will go to groves of the mangoes, and when they were ready to kill him, at once they saw that in grove. A very beautiful teenage gopi is passing. They ask, "Oh, Lali, means the daughter. Oh, Lali, have you seen this one? Chakravarti Thakur passing from here." And then she smiled. She smiled and became this. After some distance. When he he passed from that place, and just after some few feet, 
I first ever sent to Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur. Oh, this is all the miracles. And they said, so I found the Lord of Feet and the so how? He also did so many things for our Sampradaya. He sent Baldev Vidya Bhushan to Chaku eh? and he conquered the Sri Vaishnava who were offending and who were who opposing the worship of Radha and Govinda. They were telling that it is out of rule and regulation, Indian culture, illegal. Only married wife can be worshipped with Krishna. Otherwise not. Gopis are not married. Radha is not married. And then he sent, sent Baldev Vidyabhusan, he established that Radha is pure Shakti of Krishna and he can be worshipped. And he made a bhasya of Commentary of Vedanta Sutra and all that bound to accept. And thus they will come. So Vishwanath Chakvati Thakur was oh, very much prominent in three places Vrindav Brajamandal, Gaudamandal, and Chaitamandal. And thus he wrote so many books, especially. I am going to translate his books like Bhakti Minot Thakur. And I have. And what I am going to do, I wish to complete his explanation of Srimad Bhagavat at least 10 canto. That my Siksha Guru, which Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami, has kept some remnants to take. <laughs> so I am very happy to do that. You should all expect how much that I will be able to do this. Go Pramana. At once you should begin. From tomorrow I will come to my subject very, very interesting and very, very important. Yeah. It will help you all. Try to hear very attentively. Damasinda eternally engages in loving pastimes with his most intimate devotees. Krishna also presides over the spiritual planets, but not in his original form. He expands himself into his four-armed form, known as Narayan or Vishnu, and thus he presides over all the Vaikuta planets. Once, on one of these blissful Vaikuta planets, two gatekeepers of Lord Narayan, known as Jai and Vijay, were pondering how they could better serve the Lord. Sometimes, the Lord wishes to fight. But who can fight with the Lord except for one of his confidential associates? How do we ascend to the material world to please the Lord's desires to fight? Once you have achieved residency in Vaikuntha, you cannot descend to the material world. The bodies of the residents of Vaikuntha are completely spiritual, having nothing to do with the material bodies, life heirs, or senses. When the Lord travels down to the material world, He goes there through the agency of the eternal potency. And likewise, when the devotees and associates of the Lord travel down to the material universes, they go through the, through the action of the spiritual energy. We know the Lord desires to fight, but we cannot simply act like demons. We must truly become demons. Yes, how can we truly become demons? The sons of Brahma, who are known as the Kumaras, came to visit Lord Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
The Kumaras are great sages and are always seen traveling together throughout the universes. Although they are many thousands of years old, they appear as only small boys of about five or six. In this way, the Kumaras came to pay their respects to Lord Narayan and his beautiful paths of Touchstone. Stop! Not just anyone can enter into the palaces of Lord Narayan. You must have proper purification and be of great quality. My dear boys, Great sages and mystics perform austerities for thousands of years just to catch a glimpse of the feet of Lord Narayan. You boys could not have qualified yourselves through these processes. You must go home. Yes, go back home and come back in a few thousand years. I will never 
be killed by any of the living entities created by you. Oh, Hiranyakashi Blue. This benediction I cannot give you. For you see, even I must die. Please, ask for something else. Then grant me this. That I may never be killed in the sky or on the ground. Yes. Grant me this. That I may never be killed during the day or during the night. That's all right. And grant me this. That I may never be killed by any weapon. I comply. Grant me this. That I may never be killed inside or outside. Of course, that's all right. <laughs> Grant me this. That I may never be killed by a man or a beast. Yes. Give me soul lordship over all living entities and society. Give me all the glories obtained by that position. Furthermore, give me all the mystic powers obtained by long austerities and the practices of yoga, for these cannot be lost of any kind. Oh, Haranyakashi Poo, these benedictions you have asked for me are difficult to attain for most men. Nonetheless, so my son, I shall grant them to you, although they are generally not available. Now I must take my leave. Good day. Blessings. Now I'm immortal. I'm immortal. Let me show you. Let close your Hiranyakashipu's power was spreading rapidly throughout the universe, endangering the residents of the heavenly planets. And so, they kidnapped his pregnant wife, Kayadu. They were planning on executing her child, believing the child to be a greater demon than his father. Just then, Narnamuni entered playing his eternal vina and singing. Come with me to my ashram where you will be safe until you arrive. 